Windows has a built-in feature called virtual desktops that allows you to create and use multiple virtual desktops. But there's a new app called Windows Virtual Desktop Helper that takes virtual desktops to a whole new level. Hi, this is Tech Enthusiast and I make tech-oriented videos. Today I'm going to deep dive into a aforementioned app, Virtual Desktop Helper. I'll show you exactly how to install it and how to use it. With that said, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. Before we start, a quick note from the developer. Virtual Desktop Helper is not code signed and may be reported as untrusted by Windows Defender or other antivirus applications. Typically, after enough users download, install and report the software as OK or safe, this warning will go away. So to install Virtual Desktop Helper, click on the link in the video description under download section or you can just search on Google and then double check that you click on the right link, which should be GitHub. Now, this program only supports Windows 10 and Windows 11, so if you are still on Windows 7 or 8, then you should definitely upgrade to something more recent. If you are running Windows 11 Insider Builds, then you can install this program as well, because developer added support for Insider Build in the latest release as of recording this video, 1.8. Now, just to be sure that your system is compatible, head to compatibility section of the GitHub page and make sure that the version of Insider Build, which you're running on, is compatible. With all that out of the way, let's go back up to the releases link, which should be below the about section on the GitHub page. Once you clicked on the releases link, you should see the latest version available and the two files down below, one is .zip and the other is .msi. And now here's the question, which one to choose? Here's my recommendation, if you do not want to install this program and you just want to try it, then I recommend the .zip file. Otherwise, I would go with the .msi option. Once you have the executable, double left click to install it. However, if you have the case of program not launching or even the installer not launching, go ahead to this video description, which is right below the like button, by the way, and click on .NET link. Here you will need to install the latest .NET framework release. In the time of the recording this video, it is 4.8.1. Just get the latest executable and install it. It should be pretty straightforward. And now back to the virtual desktop helper. Just launch the installer and then you should see Windows Protected Your PC pop-up. At the top left, click on More Info and then Run Anyway button which just appeared. Then click Next on the Setup Wizard. On this page, I will go with the default installation path or if you click Browse, you can select your preferred install location. If I click on this cost, you can also see how many kilobytes are required to install the program and further below, you can install this program for all users or if you want to install it just for yourself. Here I'll go with the everyone option. On the next page, just click next and the installation should begin. After installation, we need to launch the program and to do that, just open the start menu and at the top right, click on the all apps button. Here, scroll down until you find Windows Virtual Desktop Helper and click on it. Now we have a brand new system tray icon and if you are on your first virtual desktop, it should say one. If you want to change a few settings, right click on that icon and then settings. Here you can enable two more system tray buttons, so show previous and next virtual desktop. You can also enable or disable overlay, which appears when switching to another virtual desktop. I will leave everything at default except the first check mark for the two buttons and the last one which enables this program to start with Windows. And here's a quick tip, if you want to move between virtual desktops even faster, then I recommend that you put all virtual desktop helper system tray icons into actual system tray and not the menu which appears when you click on the arrow. So now that we know what this program can do, let's see how to actually use it. 
Now, at the bottom here, I have the icons from the virtual desktop helper. So currently I'm on my first virtual desktop, but I will right now create a few more virtual desktops and on each of them, I will open a specific window. So for example, here I have the file explorer opened and now if I go here, I will create a new desktop and then I'll add three more. Now we have four virtual desktops in total. Here I will open the Microsoft Store and here I will open the Firefox and on the last one I will open the settings. Now here you can see that I have four desktops and let me show how to switch to each of them using virtual desktop helper. So basically at the bottom you have these arrows and now if you click for example on the next desktop you can see that we switch to desktop 2 which has opened Microsoft Store. Now if I go next we have here desktop 3 as you see on the animation and this one has opened the Firefox. And now if I switch to virtual desktop number four, here you can see that I have the settings open. And also the number of the actual desktop you are currently on, you can also see it in your system tray here in the middle. Of course, if you are used to the Windows shortcut when switching between virtual desktops, you may not find this program helpful. However, if you still use the shortcuts to move between the virtual desktops, which are controlled plus Windows plus left or right arrow key, then you can at least see on which one you are currently on. And with all that being said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching and all the required links used in this video are provided in the video description down below. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching once again and you can also support me on coffee as well. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.